Hey, uh, this is 12, day 12 of the coronavirus experience. And uh, all in all, I had a wonderful day. I went into the office today, um, had a few things I need to do in the office. Excuse me. And um, noticed um, there were some signs on some doors, so I went over to read it. And unfortunately, um, an employee was um, tested positive for um, the coronavirus, and they shut that whole area down. And, dip, and it's in, it's being disinfected. What is it? Yeah. Is, did I say that right? <laughs> I'll be saying, I'm telling you, me and my words. Anyway, they cleaning it up good. <laughs> like that. Getting it all cleaned up. All right. But um, um, I, I got into work. Um, got, early, got there early because that's what I do first thing in the morning. I like to do that. And uh, when my boss came in, he noticed the sign. And he told me to make sure I take care of what I need to take care of and get on out of here. And that's exactly what I did. I'm obedient, okay? And um, I did. Took care of everything, got on out of there because we, you know, we really want to be limited in the office right now anyway. They want to limit it, employees. So um, I did that. Um, got home. Um, worked from home the rest of the day. Um, then I clocked out. Oh, I had a, a, a phone interview because, man, I'm so excited to be working with my nephew. It is so cool. It's so cool. And uh, the young lady I spoke with, Donna, she's a sweetheart. So anyway, I'm about to go into the training and what have you as a caregiver. And I'm just excited about that, doing that part-time with my, with my own nephew. Ain't that cool? Anyway, so did that. And then I went out and um, did some Instacart shops because I like going out doing the shops because it's helping people to stay at home. And it's helping me put a little change in my pocket <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, anyway. But, um, yeah, you know, and people are actually doing the social distancing. And it, and it works. It's great, you know. And they're, by, they're adhering, adhering to the rules and regulations of it. And um, other than that, if I wasn't doing my side hustle, I would be in the house, you know. Because this is serious. You know, we got people uh, passing away um, daily from this virus and um so this ain't no joke this is a serious situation so we need to be taking heed to you know the instructions and regulations of what we need to do so that we don't get infected you know and um and keep moving but you know this morning when i went to work people were angry. the security people were just angry why are y'all mad ain't even nobody coming up in here how you mad Seven fifteen in the morning how you mad i mean how anyway People don't want to speak. They are rude at me. Do you see people are dying from this virus? That can be you. I mean, you can't even appreciate life. What is wrong with these people? But anyway, I we can, I got to be joyful. That's that's just it. I don't care what's going on. I got to keep my joy in the Lord. I, I got to. Because we all have an appointed time of death. So why be out here frowning and mad and angry and live your life to the fullest? Enjoy life to the fullest. Be joyful. Be loving. Be kind. Man. Anyway, I got a lot of nerves to talking because I used to be mean as ever. <laughs> Still got a little mean streak in me quiet as hell. <laughs> but anyway, I'm a lot better than I used to be. So, but it's just, it's just, it, I, I see why, you know, it's best to be joyful. I see it now. I understand. I've been on both sides. So I totally get it, you know, but, um, it, it tripped me out. And then I had this one lady who was bagging one of my um, shop orders. And I asked her to double bag. Um, Cause she, you know, I said, could you please double bag the milk? Um, she's like, already done. I tied it. I'm well trained. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Well trained. Okay. I just want the bags double, you know, double bag. Cause you know, I'm handling my business for customers. I want to make sure they stuff right. And then, and together, you know, so Anyway, I was like, okay, you know, she was a little aggressive. <laughs> I said it nice, okay, but um, it's all good. And so I ended my day with a um a forty dollar batch. And this old this elderly lady, she was so sweet. I just love the elderly. I love the babies, and I love the elderly. That's just that's that's just me. Um, and she came she came out, you know, but you know you got to keep the distance. She only came out because I was at my car, <clears throat> you know, not at my car. I'm sorry, I was distance away from her, you know, that space. And she was like, thank you so much. I said, no, thank you. 
And she, and she was like, you must be exhausted. I said, well, actually, no, I'm not. I, this is exercise for me. I enjoy it, you know. And she said, well, you are so, uh, I'm so grateful. You know, I will, I, I appreciate it. Thank you, you know. And uh, I said, if, if we didn't have this distance, I would have brought it in and put it on your, on your table. She said, no, you don't want to go in nobody's house these days. <laughs> I love the elderly people. She said, no, you don't want to go in nobody's house these days. <laughs> Gotta remind me of my Martin when she said that. I'm telling you the truth, okay? But um, but all in all, this this was a wonderful day. You know, I'm just enjoying uh, each and every day that God allowed me to wake up, and um, and you know, and I gotta continue to pray for others. Just continue to be prayerful, period. Um, and um, in light of what's going on for those who are losing loved ones, you know, and friends family is it's not easy this is not easy to um so this is not an easy pill to swallow but it's real and we need to take it serious and um do our parts you know do our part for and um and we will get through this because this too shall pass you know so that was day 12 of the coronavirus experience and um i will talk to you guys tomorrow deuces